Industry 4.0 for Malaysia means we are, we are embracing the change that has disrupted the world. It is a, a way of doing manufacturing whereby we can gather all different types of new technology so that machines, people and processes can talk to one another. Well, for Malaysia, it's about leapfrogging the economy, especially those in the manufacturing sector and also the services, uh, manufacturing services related sector. Industry 4.0 in nature fact, to the understanding of the manufacturers, uh, the end-to-end -end smart manufacturing process. So digital disruption today is changing the way we do business. And that's impacting everyone who is in the industry, predominantly the manufacturing industry. The policy that the Prime Minister just launched will include trading as well. Will also include ways and means for you to change your production, your manufacturing. Uh, so that they can find out how they themselves can transform their manufacturing processes to adapt into uh, either some or all parts of Industry 4.0. If you look at innovation that's coming out to the market, it's really becoming very, very shorter in terms of going to market. The second part is the price or the cost in making them has also gone down dramatically. So my advice to them, don't be afraid. This is the only choice. This is only one choice to move forward with Industry 4.0. You don't take the risk, there will be no gain. The government will have a programme where we can try to help you to, to convert uh, seamlessly and in a cost-effective way. This is an opportunity. Work with MITI, work with our agency so that we can move you forward. And that five years from now, we'll be able to see the manufacturing sector in Malaysia totally transform. The first one is in terms of can you improve your productivity? The second is that can you reduce the dependency of foreign labour? And the third one is that can you use digital to create new sources of growth? So these are three main things that I think any organisation, any manufacturers could actually sort of relate themselves to and could actually take this and embark on this digital adoption journey as soon as possible. The time is now. Well, in any policies, in any action, uh, in any investments, there are risks. However, this risk can be mitigated by having a strong government support. That's where MITI comes in. We need to make it easy for them to convert into this new technology.